Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's take a look at another example of how we can come up with a formula for a function that depends on something. For instance, suppose we have a rectangle. And suppose also that we have a diagonal length right here through the rectangle. And we also know something else, that this, that this length right here is one half of this length right here. So this length right here is double that one. Then let's suppose that this length right here is x and this length is 2x. Question. This diagonal, does it depend on what x is? It sure does. Can we write it as a function of x? Yes, we can. We could use the Pythagorean theorem, perhaps. So it would be the square root of x squared plus quantity 2x squared. Because we know that this squared plus that squared is going to be equal to what we're looking for, squared. So we have a function um, where d of x is the output, and it depends on x. Now, could we reverse this? What if we called this d? Could we write x as a function of d? That's a good question. Let's see what we could do. Well, we already have this formula, and let's just let this be d now. And we're going to think of x as being a function of d. Because as d grows, won't that affect x? x does depend on d in the situation. You can check that. So we could rewrite this as d is equal to this, but let's square both sides. So we get d squared is equal to x squared plus, now this is 4x squared. So we get 5x squared is equal to d squared. And then we could have, we could solve for x, d squared over 5, um, and take a square root. Now, usually when you take a square root, you get a plus or minus. Um, but here in our drawing, in our scenario, we want a plus. Now, when we take a square root of d squared, um, it's a positive square root of d squared. We're always going to get something positive. So really, this is absolute value of d over 5 is equal to x. But that's OK, because we already know that d as a distance will always be positive anyway. So we know that x is simply going to be, uh, oh, that's a square root of 5, excuse me, square root of 5, is going to be um, uh, d over square root of 5. And there's our function right there. Thanks for watching.